Hey y'all, my name is Haley, and today I want to talk to you guys about mottos, life mottos, or mantras, some people might call them, or you know, just words to live by. Because I don't know about you, but I think that it's important that we all have certain standards that we live by, or you know, just guidelines to get us through the day, just ways to help us from being assholes to each other. Because that's important. Don't be an asshole. Don't be an asshole. You just have to have things that you live by. It may not be something that we quote to ourselves every day. Like, okay, silence is confidence, posture is poise. Silence is confidence, posture is poise. Silence is confidence, posture is poise. But it might be something that we do every day and we don't realize it and it's kind of cool to put a phrase to it. This is just the right time to be discussing this with you guys because the holidays are coming up. Sometimes you just need that little push. You just need that little bit of motivation. You just need to get yourself there. Get yourself to the freaking new year where you can start afresh. Let's get to it. Maybe we should start with a serious one. You don't think it be like it is, but it do. That's just, it speaks for itself. Come on. My next one, and this is a legitimate life motto that I have to have for myself. It's really important. My parents have an Amazon Prime account, and if you don't know what that is, essentially you pay like X amount of money a year, and then you get free shipping, free two-day shipping, and it's just like the best ever. So my life motto is don't drink in Prime. I can't tell you how many times I have drank and then got on Amazon Prime and bought something so stupid. Just oh, so stupid. My most recent drink in Prime purchase, so clearly I'm not the greatest at following my own mantra or life motto or whatever, but I try and that's the point, was cookie cutters. Just circles, like not even cool cookie cutters. I just bought like one that's like this size and then one that's a little bit bigger and then one that's a little bit bigger and then one that's a little bit bigger. Like, cool. Relatable to my last word to live by. If you can't be happy, at least you can be drunk. If you're not 21, you can't be drunk though, so I'm sorry, you're just gonna have to deal. I'm drunk right now. Don't let anyone with bad eyebrows tell you shit about life. If someone has bad eyebrows, they don't know. They don't know. Smile like a monkey with a new banana. We should all be smiling like a monkey with a new banana, cause can you think of anything that's happier than a monkey with a new banana? Maybe a panda with a new shoot of bamboo. I don't know, a dolphin. I don't know what dolphins eat. A squirrel with a new nut. This is a bit of advice that my dad gave me when I was dumped by this boy who I was so in love with. So I was like making a joke about how I was really sad and my dad said to me, suck it up girl. And he's right, you just have to suck it up sometimes. Life can suck and things can hurt and people can hurt you and you just have to suck it up girl. This is a good one that also has to do with monkeys, which you know, monkeys are cool. They know how to live their life. I believe it. Not my circus not my monkeys. Basically it means this is not my problem. I don't have to waste my time and invest in this situation because it has nothing to do with me and I can't change it. Be like frozen and let it go. The last most important word to live by. I can't even describe to you how important this one is. I'm talking the truest of true, the word to live by, the motto to have for your life. If you see a cookie, put that shit in your mouth because life is too short to not eat cookies. If you want a cookie or cake, you know, you can revise this to be about cake if you are a cake eater. It's someone's birthday somewhere, so you can eat cake if you want to eat cake. But seriously, if you see a cookie, put that shit in your mouth. If you give a mouse a cookie, he'll want a glass of milk. If you hold the cookie in front of my face, I'm gonna put that in my mouth. So these have been my life mottos or words to live by or mantras that you can repeat to yourself every day. You can tell yourself you're beautiful, but deep down you already know you're beautiful. You need to remember important things, like to suck it up, girl. If you have a mantra or, you know, some advice some sound, seasoned, reasonable, intelligent advice that you wanna give to your fellow human beings, comment down below. Tell me what your advice is. I wanna know. I wanna know what gets you through the day. How do you encourage yourself? What do you find important in this life that we are all living together? If you liked this video, feel free 
to give it a thumbs up. If I, you know, need to encourage you to do something, it would be to do that. Give it a thumbs up, like it so the world can see. Like it so we all can be just sucking it up together. Sometimes you just need help. And I think that we should all help each other because each other is all that we have in this world. We don't have unicorns, we just have each other. Because unicorns aren't real and neither is Santa. And I'm sorry to be the one to tell you this. I need you to be notified when I make a new video. So I need you to subscribe. I do, I need it, I need it. I need you in my life. And this is me begging for you to stay. So please stay, stay with me. I'm gonna stick around. I'm gonna be there for you every week in a little box on your screen. And good news, I am everywhere else on the internet. I have a Facebook, I have a Twitter, I have an Instagram, I have Snapchat, I have Pinterest, I have a Tumblr, I have all the things. And I'm gonna give you the links to my things so that you can stalk me. If me being here for you this day of every week isn't enough, you can have me every day of the week because I am all around. I'm all around. You're so incredible. I just can't wait to see you again. Come back soon. I'll be here waiting for you. Goodbye.